Alrighty then. We are now in phase two of uh, the Burning Crusade classic, which means we're going to be seeing SSC or Serbian Caverns or Cove. I think it's Caverns or Cave. Serbian Cave? No, it doesn't seem right. Uh, which means we're going to be seeing a few more guides. So you've got that to look forward to. But we are going to start off with SCC and Hydraspawn. I think it's... is it Hydraspawn? I don't know. But, <coughs> let's kick off. So, Hydraspawn is a boss fight where you will be fighting Hydraspawn. He is a... it is a resistance fight. That you need the tanks to have a lot of nature and water resistance, frost resistance, not water. But that would make sense that it's water since ice is technically water. So if you're protected against water, you should be protected against ice. But I digress. Um, it's a two phase fight where you have water and you have nature. Um, you have to sort of kite him. You have to manually switch him between the two fights, but uh, I digress. So, let us proceed to the arena. So, when you arrive, Hydra Spawn is going to be over here. And on this path over here, there's going to be uh, ads coming from the right continuously. Uh, until you pull the boss. You want to clear a couple up ahead and then just then pull the boss. So when you pull the fight, Hydra Spawn is going to be in the middle. And these two pillars are going to be the deciding factor about if he's Frost or Nature. So you want the Frost tank to pick him up here. And DPS to be really, really careful on aggro. And when you feel like the frost tank can't, um, feels like he can't take any more stacks, he's going to want to make a swap. At that point, what you want to do is you want to have the entire raid, which should be stacked on this end. Like you should have all the DPS stacked on this side of the boss when he's in water phase. When you want to swap over to nature, prior to swapping over, you want the entire ray to move to the other side of the hmm. uh, you want the entire ray to swap over to the other side of the uh, beams because the moment he crosses these beams he's gonna turn into nature so let us do this actually so let us do... how do I do this? That. So when he's moved over here, he's going to turn into nature. which And he's also going to spawn four adds, which are going to be toxic or nature resistance, which is why you want to have druids uh, pick them up. You want to banish those, uh, two of them, and tank the other two. And the adds are main priority in this fight. So you want to kill the nature spawns here. It's gonna go. Uh, why don't I use this? How do I? How do I make it smaller? Uh, is it that? Does this work? Can I make it smaller? No. Shit. Uh, is it this one? Yes. So when he's over here, it's gonna be nature. You want the nature resistance tank to pick him up. And the moment you kite him past this, he's going to turn into water. Why are you big? I need you to be small. There you go. And same thing here. You're going to end up with four adds. Uh, here, here, or somewhere along this water side. But you want to kill them ASAP. Banish too works really well. You shouldn't pull anything else. You can probably fear them. You can't pull them often though because they are 
uh, water elementals. Uh, and as always, so you start, okay, so let's go from the start. So when you start the fight, you want to have the tank pick it up. All the DPS should be, okay, hang on. Oh no, I moved it. All the DPS should be on this side of the beams, these pillars. So in case someone does get aggro, you're not going to wipe the raid by sending back and forth, repeatedly causing more as to spawn. And prior to the swap, you want to have all the healers and all the DPS move to the other side. So when you do get the water elemental, turn into nature when he crosses this, he's going to turn into nature. Uh, there's not going to be any healer aggro going out on the wrong side. And when you want to swap him back, you do the same thing again. Everyone moves before swapping, especially the healers, because healer aggro is the most likely thing that's going to cause them to run over again. So, that's it. You rinse and repeat the fight. Kill the adds. Don't fuck up, make it aggro. Uh, be on the right side of the beams or the pillars. And you're going to have a kill. Uh, that's legitimately the only thing in the fight that's going to be any difficult. Um... But the tanks will need to figure out how many stacks they can take um, before they need to swap. So, and uh, that's it. And thank you for watching the Hydro Spawn, I think it's called, SSE Blind Guide. Because I have no idea how to actually do this fight. And I need to study all the guides that are actually out there after this. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I think I'm pretty good on this fight, so uh, you shouldn't have any issues with it. So good luck.